live. Turn the volume off on my iPad. Hello, everybody. Oh, iPad's just been a little bit glitchery. Oh, there we go. Can you actually go and make sure that kid's not using the internet, please? Right, yo. It says there's three people. Hello, everybody. Says I'm Elisa and I'm from Scrapbook Fantasies. And that rule is annoying. Okie dokie. I'm kind of organised. I've got the paper. We're using Getaway tonight. I've got some stuff to choose from. I'm not a big plan. Oh, I do plan some things in life. I'm Melissa. I'm Elisa. A L I C I A. Elisa. She's just reading her own subtitles, folks. See how the subtitles copes with that. Oh, I'm not dear. a big plan, it said. There we go. <laughs> I'm Melissa. I, oh, yep. I'm Melissa. I'm Melissa. Yep. Stop reading yep. the subtitles. Come on. Okay. Hello, Chrissy. How are you? Long time no see. So we're looking at Getaway. Hello, Robin. Hello, Di. So this is paper number one. I think we might use that one. It's nice. I like this one. I like making papers that have got depth and lots of layers in them and and, and you can just stare at them for hours trying to see all the layers. And this wood's a lovely paper. And then this is paper two. So I have fussy cut from this. I've got the combi. I've got the two steins. The big camera. The little camera and the compass. So, come on over here. So that's paper number two. I don't know if some of you have fussy cut out from the gaps around this, these little bits, but I've got that to use. This portion here, I love this. I love that. I should have just made that into a paper, that piece. So I've got that bit to use. And paper number three is this lovely stripe. And then the circles, the scene circles. So these circles are around, they're just over two inches. So you've got a little bit of leeway when you use a two inch cutting die or a two inch circle punch. Um, I just hand cut them. And then paper number four, which has got the um, the patchwork, the four four piece patchwork. So we do, I do one that's got nine, one that's got this like this four, and then I do a half strip. So I do something different all the time. I do a lot of the quarter ones. I've done a fair few of the ones with nine, um, and the halves I've done recently with nine for the holidays and and then the beach scene, which is really. Cool. Number five, which is the first of the traditional fussy cuts. I like this. I think we might have to use that, but I love this. This frame. So my fussy cut sheets always have a frame around them. Let's go back. Um, I said hello to Chrissy, Robin, and Di. Hello, Lee and Sandy. Hello, Amanda, Marge, Lila, Kathy. D and Lisa Eming finally made it. That's okay, Lisa. It's good chatting to Trev today. And this is page number six. So it's another fussy cut with frame and then this chevron. Rightio. So that's the papers. So. We cut the other night on Wednesday night an 8x10 fakey photo. And I said we'd do a double tonight. So I thought about doing nine photos, but I thought maybe we'd do four because nine's a bit cluttered. And I cut three and three quarter by three and three quarter because they give you, it's more economical for your photo mat when you're cutting, cutting four inch photo mats. 
So that's our photos. And then I've got our new um, getaway words, colour cut words. I haven't used these yet. They're really nice. Quentin thinks I should use a binoculars, but I think Quentin can go. Um, these are the new caravans, campers and stuff. And there's some jeeps and a combi and some suitcases but there's lots of caravans and camper vans and a couple of the circle scenes from the circles i like circles if you haven't already guessed i do like circles so a couple of circles it's got a bit of a straight edge there they're not perfect nothing in life is perfect i am definitely far from perfect no, I reckon I'm pretty close. Yep, that's my smart mouth husband. Um, I've got a few flare buttons. Caps flares. So we got lots. There's lots of goes with getaway. I think I like these. Though I don't possess the stripe and the chevron anymore. Myself over here. Uh, I've got a caravan. A little getaway. There's a, there's an open getaway to fill and then there's a bigger one of this. A discover. Some little tents. Um, some are super bling. 2022. A bigger tent. So the little tents are just like this but smaller. Camera. Some of the 8mm glass domes. I just can't resist attempting to use these. I love them. Um, this has been speaking to me at work when I eat my lunch each day. Um, Unless I face the other wall and then I don't see it. This is a Studio Light Essentials alphabet. Uh, I've been thinking it might need to, I might need to buy it. Because it's got the shadow. See how you've got the alphabet and you've got the shadow? Right. Now I forgot to bring home, oh, I'll show you the cardstock. Um, I've got a piece of pistachio and a piece of champagne glitter. Um, I've got three bits of craft and three bits of um, Kayser Craft Premium Ivory, which has got an orange peel. So they're the kind of things that I think are going to go. Um, I'm not an expert, in my opinion. I know Dee some of you have got other opinions about that. What's that? Dee said she's perfectly imperfect. Oh, I am far from perfect. Um, hello, Cherie. Okay, so I forgot to bring home my projects from this week and I used Lemon Craft Linen Stories. Done a card and a scrapbook page. If you haven't seen the caliber of Linen Story, let's just grab some of my fussy cutting. So this is the kind of thing, you know, it's very beautiful. And we did a DL card, so it's a tall skinny cut. I've got pictures of the card that I stole off our Facebook page that my husband took. So we're just going to switch over to, let's see if this works. Here we go. So this is my card that I made this week. So lots of fussy cuts and lots of layers. And I went through like how to make, how to get your layers together and, um, you know, how to make it stay up and and building a bit of support I had to build a support for that the most beautiful wishes um and then you know like with the gauze and the paper curls and that sort of stuff um i'm not saying i'm an expert but that's just the way i do it that one's a bit washed out um quentin took these on his phone and his phone's a bit heavier than mine and then that's the so that's the flare button so those flares are on the website but they're not live they are live but they're not got product in them because we haven't made flares We've just got some issues with our we're only able to make a limited number of flares at the moment because we've got um some issues with the flare parts so we're really being conservative with the flares so those they're called they're devoted to denim sweet beauty they will be out um, I'll show you what the others I've got. That's a pretty good Friday. It's too bad. It's pretty good. It takes a pretty good photo considering oh, I haven't got the other photos in this one. Cards are hard to photograph. So the sweet, those sweet beauty flares will be out when we get our issues with um, 
the um, issues with the flare parts fixed. Now I'm just going to get my second screen now. I'm just removing that screen. You just have to bear with me one moment because I like to have it live streaming. So we're live streaming here in Facebook and on and on YouTube. Hello Dee and Kathy. Hello Quentin. Hello Fiona. How are you? I did get your message earlier this week, Fiona. I um, just didn't get around to answering. Sorry. So. You got to show your other gluies while you're Okay. Do, do you want to do show until now? Let's do show. Let's do show until now. So, oh, new product. New product of the week. So, the, let's move this out of the way. So, these are the Swan Princess uh, printed vellums. Right? The Swans are out again. Look, the Swans are out again. The Swans will be back in next week. So, these are oh, the yeah. Swan Princess. This one's a dud. This one here's a dud. We had a few duds. Yeah. So let's slide. There, there's a lady that she knows who she is that bought a lot of swans. Someone loves swans and, and she a bought a lot of swans. Swans. So they're the Swan Princess printed vellums. Oh my gosh, the one today. Oh, week nine. We will get some here, more of them shortly. Uh, these, there's duds here as well, just so you know that's dud. <laughs> it's at the bottom. So, and these are the flower power ones. There will be more soon. I have been yeah, a little popular. A little, little, little popular. And you people know who you are who love them. Okay. So, yesterday, arriving a little bit ahead of schedule, was the new um, Stamperia. The new release Stamperia. So, I'll show you Savannah. So, we've got Savannah in 12 by 12. And then we've got the backgrounds as well. So, these are the backgrounds. So, each of these has got 10 sheets. But I'm going 10 double sided sheets. But then what I'm going to say is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oh no, that's the cover. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you get 10 plus the two covers. And these are really super sticky. Here's the policy. I'll be very careful with this. So there's a background sheet and a standard collection in the 12 by 12s and then only the, the loose collections. paper for Savannah will be hopefully arriving on Monday. We're hoping to get the next lot on Monday. So inside the front cover you've got this piece. So you can only get this in the pack. Look at that. Unstoppable. And then these are the papers. Aren't they just, I reckon they'd be great for junk journaling. <coughs> I just reckon just be beautiful in junk journals. Or like to keep it like this and cover the front and cover the back and make it into a book. Just beautiful, isn't it? So, the tag. It's been a little while since there's been an African collection, really. Um, I think Celebrate was the last one. Celebrate, did their one go wild or something that was called? Oh, no, there was a Studio 73 one. Oh, so there and then inside the back stuff. cover, you've got this. So, this one and this one are bonuses, right? And then, we've got to put this back in. This stuff is super sticky. Yeah, like, I'm is. just going to say this is super, super sticky. I might put that in my new bags tomorrow if I can see that. Right. Mm -hmm. There is a tiny bit missing off the corner here, but it's not missing. Oh, no, it's just got an extra piece from the book. Yeah. So, sorry about that. And then this is the 
so inside the front cover and the back cover, there's bonus pieces in the backgrounds book as well. And these bonus pieces are out of this book. So they are that print there and that print there. Not this front one. The, the reverse side of those two is are in this book. So then with Savannah, we've also got, and they're exactly the same prints. They're just smaller size. We've got the 8 by 8 Sorry about the glare off the, the light. And the 6 by 6 Let's turn that one off. Let's turn that off. And then we've got the stencils. We've got the rhino. Nobody is like you. That's your power. The um, tribal one. And then the African one with the elephants and the map of the words. <clears throat> and then we've got the zebra print. Let's see if we can get that to show up soon. The zebra print. Then we've got the um, savannah elements um mold and then we've got the masks mold and i did talk yesterday in the video unboxing video about the masks that we had from my um my um kind of adopted but not not officially adopted brothers when i was little that were from Papua new guinea and then we've got province and it comes in six by six eight by eight and twelve by twelve now inside the front cover you've got this sheet with um, tags and borders and inside the back cover you've got spots lilac spots i do love that that's really pretty there's no loose paper of this coming at this point in time there is a limit to what you can buy um it's got a budget sometime and then we've got the mold with all the lavender bunches um the wreath the birds and the border the um, tribal stencil, yes, Deborah. If you are looking at the tribal stencil, wondering if you really like it or not, lots yeah. of other people have. So. And then we've got for province as well. We've got the cat stencil, and then we've got the letters. The stencil. letter stencil has been also very popular. <coughs> yeah. So and then we've got Casa Granda. Yeah, and I put got, up a link today for a super cool animation. There's a super cool animation that Stamperia did for this one and Quentin put a link up. So you've got this, inside the front cover, you've got this one with like the taggy block things and some little banners and some borders. And inside the back cover, you've got this one with your um, fussy cups, cups and windows and spoons and plates and all that. And then you've got this bonus piece and this bonus piece so you got two bonus patterns in your backgrounds pack but look at these backgrounds aren't they beautiful love that, love that. and then it also comes in eight by eight and six by six um i don't know if it's a good thing or not but it does say that 2022 was when it was first released and that could be great unless it's 2032 and you haven't opened the packet yet. Then all we've got left of Garden House, which I didn't realise was going to be as popular as it is, is 8x8 and 6x6. All the 12 by 12s are gone. They're just all gone ski. Yeah. So the bonus in this is leaves inside the front cover and the fussy cuts with the windows and little pot plants and shovels and more windows um but isn't it cool gardening stuff and um love is the flower you've got to get let grow yeah. and then the mold we've got for it is great if you're doing some home decor or if you're working on a doll's house little filigree pieces and um door headers and some borders and that um would be great on furniture or um even jewellery, like these would make lovely earrings, wouldn't they? Nice. So there. I think there's the Casa Granda video, the animated thing I've done Casa today. Granada, yeah. Towards the end of it also it does those little 3D projects, you know the ones? Yes, there's more. There are 3D. So there's a 3D for um, Garden House and a 3D for Casa Granada, Granada. Granada yes. coming. Um, there's loose paper, there's clear die cuts, there's chipboard die cuts. 
It's only only loose paper for Savannah. Um, there's lots and lots and lots coming in the next next box. Um, but it might get overtaken by something from another European country. But we were pretty quiet about it. We ordered it ages ago and we, you know, we yeah. ordered on paper things. But sometimes we're a bit quiet because we just don't know when it's going to arrive when you pre-order product. I, I do. We missed the Friday, the Thursday, the courier lady. Yeah, I yeah. I said to as we drive off, I said, we've got nothing coming from that courier company. No, no we don't no. get anything from that courier company. The distributor changed brands in Gladstone. Um, so that's interesting, isn't it? So are we going to use the cream or we're we going to use, let's get two bits of cream and just place it and just have a look and see what we'll be thinking. Yep. I've got my lights back on. Uh, I'm just going to just flip through the settings. Yep. That's the right one. So if we were to do this, let's just have a bit of a play. Just to know. Just say, eight by ten is a big photo. By the time it's a whopper. But geez, it's nice. Like we've done some nice ones like with the kids sitting on jetties or if only put a mat kid on a horse looks really for. nice on an eight by ten. Just saying. Well, there's two things you need here. One is a kid and one is a horse. Yeah. Some of my kids won't even go near a horse. Kids that'll go near horses don't live here anymore. And uh, Cheryl's late because she was eating a big feed of crab. Well, Cheryl. Cheryl, just not good enough, lovey dove. We had pizza chicken for dinner. Yep, Clinton made pizza chicken. And steam mash. Have a look at these words. I think I need to use these. That means I get to buy a packet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Snickering to myself. Okay, let's have a look at what our new our new hit. Does it have someone in my and car? Someone hit my car. Car still isn't finished. They've got till Monday. Monday's two weeks since we got the car back, and apparently they've got till Monday. Yeah. yeah. They returned it with bits missing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, getaways in here twice. So I'd be safe to say you're using that word pack then. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Would you like a code? I'd love the code, mother. Thank you. Let's see. There are sentences, or kind of almost sentences in here. See, there's three rows. So you've got open road. This is where I was at. Um, road trip. Not hit my car. Hit <laughs> hit the road. Um, Um, our getaway. I think I had our getaway. New highway. Was it new highway? I think trip was just a word. The highway. A combi holiday. I think I had a combi holiday. So there's lots of things. Open our caravan, Roslyn says. Open our caravan. Our open caravan? Mm, maybe not. Our camper? Hit a combi? Our. Just wait. Just where's. Our, our new camper. Um, cruising our, Scott Highway Cruising. Our new caravan. Yep. Or cruising the highway. So there's lots you can do. Like I had a bit of a play with the words and yeah. Is this like so, Scrabble but with words? Scrabble with words. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, Dev, I agree, Dev, right? Loads of combinations. Hit the road. I love these signs. Sorry, I just love the signs. Okay. And what pieces of paper have we used to write before? Um, don't know yet. Stop. Stop. Like you fussy paper. Oh, number two. On the road again. <laughs> what was that show? I didn't the dog do on. I didn't do the word on. Really? On vacation. I didn't do on. I should have done on. Should Hit the road. Are we there yet, says Mary. Oh, dear. I need a bit of you know. Yeah, we've got plenty of photos for that too, let me tell you. How far's Brisbane? <laughs> oh no. How, how far's the Sunshine Coast? My favourite one was the A King ones. Yep, so Quentin gets to the Yepin Flats, if you know, or Campton when you're driving into Rocky, you go over the Yepin Flats. And Milton goes, Yay Cans! Because we were driving a truck all the way to Cairns. <laughs> yeah. Kind the truck that did 90 flat to the boards. This is a big four-wheel drive cherry picker and 90 pound hours of speed restriction. Yep. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I didn't do that trip. Okay. <laughs> you don't have the road trip memories, I do. The next trip. We did. The boys were in the cherry pick room. The girls were in the ute. I really think we need to use this number five. I said to Quentin, let's do a double and not make it, you know, I try and do an economical double. No, it's not going to happen. Well, you can't beat the last double you did. It was like, no, $11.95 or something for a double page. That was crap. Was the scrap boys family? Mm, I think so, yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna mount our 8 by 10 photo. It's a lot of paper. But when we cut our mat, we're actually gonna cut it from this end up here so that down this end we get the maximum. If we cut it from up this end here, our photo mat, we'd end up with only a single sided piece at the end. Whereas if we do it from this end, we get a double-sided piece at this end. Five. So let's cut eight and a quarter inches. By ten and a quarter. And then what we're going to do is, this is obligatory, is we are going to cut the middle out of this. Because I'm just saying, hacker alert, we need to cut the middle out of this. You cannot waste all that paper behind that mat. That is just beyond wasteful. border piece down to an inch wide. Currently out of lopper choppers. If you would like a lopper chopper held for you in the next shipment, 
they're so popular, you just got to send us a message. So I'm going to make an inch wide out of this tealy stuff. It's just whatever the scrap is. What is it? Eight and a quarter. And then this bit ends up being like three quarters of an inch wide. So we might make some flaggy things with those. Waste not, want not. Right, will we get... Will we get our other photo mats out of this? So we get one, two, three, four. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's map all our photos with this. So I've made them three and three quarters. So across a 12 inch length, I get all my photo maps. Like I'll get all of them. And we're going to cut from this side so that this strip here is double duty two colours. So we're going to make a four inch wide piece and then we're going to cross cut that at four, four, four. Okay, three, four, four, four. Yep, we're actually cutting four. We're going to cut one out of our bit we got out of the middle. Two. Let's make sure it's four inches. Three. And then let's if I'd cut this out nicely, I wouldn't have to need it up. Oh. I'm going to cut a number four by four. Everything's always inches too, by the way. If you're watching from somewhere else in the world, yes. In Australia, we do sometimes do inches. Well, I do inches, and I'm in Australia, so. Oh, look at that. That looks a bit perfect for something. Look at this strip. This is a leftover bit that's like mm, three-eighths. So it's halfway between a quarter and a half an inch. And that looks like it's just made to put somewhere. Where are we going to put that? So let's cut the middle out of our photo mats. Hacker alert. I think we've made good use of paper number five. Oh, there's a bit. A little bit here. Let's start collecting it up and seeing what we can cut out of that. So we've either got the beige side or, or, or we've got bits of fussy cuts to tuck in behind. And we learned that this week that you don't have to have the whole fussy cut piece to tuck behind something. You just cover that with a flower, a bit of a ship. Yeah, well, I was going to get a ship creep this afternoon and I forgot to do it for most of it. So, Nama John's class tomorrow morning in the Creative Family Group is at 9.30 and she will be colouring gesso. Um, on a request, I think it's one of the Debbies. There's a lot of Debbies in our Creative Family Group. So tomorrow morning at 9.30 Queensland time, um, she will be in there and she will be colouring gesso. Right, she's going to switch to Saturdays too. She, she is switch. switching to Saturdays, not just because of the internet, but because she signed up for social netball. So um, that's really good. We're happy she signed up for social netball because the social touch football she did with the uni She's not a uni student anymore, but I think somehow as an alumni student or something, as a past student, she gets to play the sports on campus or something. Um, touch was full because they had they didn't get to play last year. Um, but actually, they might have. They might have played like two or three games and that was it for the whole year. So I think they're a little bit starved. She'll enjoy netball. She'll enjoy netball. She hasn't played netball since she was six. Um, oh, I think this might go down. She just wants an activity to make her get out and talk to people. She just needs... Oh, that wasn't a full 12 inches. That's okay. We'll do something with that. We'll sit that there. We'll think about that. Oh, we could extend that. Okay. We can do that. You can cut it behind your photo. Yeah. 
Righty o. Where are we now? What are we going to do next? I really did like paper number one. So it is what I've used in these words. Yeah, so Roslyn's just said, I'm so glad to see you don't waste paper when you're matting. It makes me cringe when I see people waste heaps oh, of gorgeous materials. I know. And it's just, sometimes it's just laziness. Sometimes it's just not, possibly not thinking, but yeah, and, and yeah, I know I feed my scrap box an awful lot. My scrap box is a horribly enormous piece. Do you have a solution for that coming out? Yes, 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 yes. Apparently I've got to send stuff into school. So I might send stuff to school next week. Do we want to put that bit of tealy colour there? Or no, do we want to put love us. that colour? No, I think we'll put the teal. No, nah, it's not working. No. We'll find something like No, nah, needs to be that colour. What do we think? It's not there. And then we've got, so I've got these strips. So this one was an inch wide and this was three quarters wide. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to use this colour or craft. So what I'm going to do, this one's about mm, two inches long. And then let's do another one. Two inches long. Let's do one at this end. I know there's a barcode there, but I don't completely fold it in half. About two inches long. And then let's do a really long one here. So I don't I don't want to crease it. I want to just sit that there. Oh, that looks nice up there. But I've got that there. Should be right. This one hat. This one, let's trim it across here. And then fold it. And then trim that. And snip that. Do that. Well, I'm just making them around about two inches long, except that really long one. Not flaggy things. You could use a punch of this. You, you could measure it too. Okay. Nearly there. Let's do one at each end. Oh, and we did start jazz on Thursday. Just gonna move them out. You've lost your kit. How? You lost the kit. Your father's lost his marbles. Yep. Is that surprising? No. Lee's asking for smooshing. Yeah, I was thinking, I was just thinking that I could do a bit of smushing. And I think we need to, I think we need to stick the background together. I think we've done enough that we need to actually get some action going. I've got, see, these are the flares I've got here. I have some at home. I love this one. Or maybe I put it up here. 
And then I'll put a second combi here. Or we put a mustard for this one. Oh, the wood. Let's sit in here. Um, I did drag out um, my gathered twigs ink pad and and I think it's um, sponged all the needs to be replaced. Okay. That is a bit sad. Yeah. It's sad. Responsible. Yeah, that's a bit sad. Point right. of recreate. Hey, Noah. Yeah. Here. Uh, oh, it's on my phone. What's that? Can you um, text Rory? Yeah. Just tell her mum's on a lot, like mum's doing a video, can her mum send the message to dad or you? Because Rory's mum just texted me about you hanging out this weekend. Oh. They're going somewhere tomorrow. Can you, just it's going to be pretty late when I finish class and she might want an answer before I finish class. Sorry everyone to interrupt. Um, because just, I got kids with social lives. No, social lives. Let's put our words over here. No, 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 you're, you're right. Just send her a text message and just say, Mum's on a video um, if, if they can text Dad or text you so they can get a reply before midnight. Because it's going to be late before I get to reply to them. Rightio. So we've got two pieces of ivory premium from Kazercraft. Right. So I'm going to use my looper chopper, my lopper chopper. If you look up lopper chopper in the online store, it actually comes up. So I'm going to cut them together. Sold out right now. If you messenger messages. If you would really like one, we can, they usually sell really quick. You do have to hold it. You can't not hold it. Because it will distort. Don't throw that out. Free card. Did you need the code? Yeah, I can make them. Right. Oh. 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 Who oh, agrees that Q has issues? Let's make sure that they match up. Sometimes turning them around is a common number. It appears I didn't save my last kit I made. What's that? The kit you were making, you didn't save it. You were exited out of it without saving it. Would I do a thing like that? Yep. So, let's turn it over and let's get some double-sided tape for Band-Aids. Now, I think we're going to stick a whole piece of cardstock on this. So, we're going to have to be a little scroogey and we're going to have to do some hacking. So we've got one piece of pattern paper five and one piece of pattern paper two. Sort of yep, pack of words. Um, she going to text you? Um, no, she said she just wants an answer before, like, you know, at 1 a.m. and like before 12 in the morning. Okay, that's okay. Well, I'll answer after I finish my video. Yeah. So, I think that's a good balance. So, we're sort of on this side of the page five inches and we're on this side of the page seven inches. I think that's a bit of a good balance. So, let's put some tape on the back of this. Let's put some tape down the centre. Yeah. 
So let's come in like a good you know, half to three quarters of an inch. Yep, we're going to cut the middle out of this. Stop about half to three quarters of an inch. We're going to keep the spine. So the other day I didn't leave the spine. Sometimes I leave the spine, sometimes I don't. It depends on where our balance is going with our piece, right? So let's make sure that's going to be completely covered, that I haven't made a mucker of it. No, nope, that's going to be covered. Let's hack that out. So I could cut the spine out or I could leave the spine in. Six of one, half a dozen the other. Oh, Nelly kept going. Should just make a pile of all the free paper, considering we've already matted a photo with free paper. No, no, only one. Three were from a scrap. Oh, yeah. Hacking out the middle of the page. Waste not, want not. Look at that. Add it to our free stuff pile. Bloody O. So, we're talking about some mushing or something, or some flicking. And our photo is going to go. Oops, I have everything laid out on this nicely. So let's stick this on. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn back a tiny bit and crease it. Right. And then down here we'll just do one side. That's just one sheet of paper one as well. Yep. So normally I'd stand up to this. I'm actually gonna stand up to this. I'm actually gonna turn it around. That's what I'm gonna do. Just wanna get it lined up. Oh, thanks for asking about Muslim. Yeah, he's um, he's getting he's feeling better. He's feeling better. It's not hundred percent. Definitely not a hundred percent. No, he's still got no energy. He's still... Yeah, de definitely. Um, definitely. Well, yeah. What was his point of conversation with this afternoon? What's not on Netflix? Uh, yeah, no, he wanted to watch Star Trek Discovery, so he had to go. He signed up for a free trial of Amazon Prime. So he could watch Star Trek Discovery because he was behind. So, and they've taken it off Netflix. And I that was cool, that, didn't it? <laughs> it's just, oh my God. it? Just ripped the business out of that. Yeah. 
yeah. I took the messy mat away because it was too messy and some people sort of there were some comments that you know how terrible my workspace looked how messy it looked with my messy mat and messy you know messy. just gonna say stuff don't stick to my messy mat Do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to peel the back off here in the middle. So let's just peel this off. Um, yeah. So he has, yeah, he sat in on a couple of um, meetings yesterday because he can work from home. He's been doing a little bit of work, but he's pretty wiped. He said it, it didn't do him any good. I'm just trying to peel this off. He didn't feel very good after he did his meetings. Okay, let's peel this off. Let's just... We do feel sorry for his poor flatmate because they only just moved in. Not long ago. Not long ago. And, yeah. but yeah. He's got it from someone, most likely at work. That's what happens, I suppose. Okay. So let's turn it over. So you could, you know, you can't sit that in a trimmer. That's just too big for a trimmer. You could snip, snip, snip and try and eyeball that. But if you turn it over, look at that nice straight line. It's meant to be straight. Yeah, this good guy that he's getting better. He's fit, he sounds better. Sounds a lot better. Why don't you use the couch? Pretty cool. That ruler. It's been a mess. Oh, yeah. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Let's move this back a bit. I'll sort of push that forward. Righty oh. Let's look in the tub of green. Like emerald. Emerald is holy dooly. But um, where's our plastic packet from tonight? My new tape I bought. Uh, I have it. I had to get a roll of foam tape. Right here. So this is pretty bright. Like that just thing. Oh, Lee, that is like emerald bright. That is full on business bright. So I've got some gathered twigs here. Let's put a little bit of that in there. Emily gathered twigs. Oh, Let's move this out of the way. Bit of water. Let's mix it. Emeralds are a dying, isn't it? Yeah, gathered twigs is a tin house. Yeah. So we've sort of got a bit more of a. Yeah, that's pretty cool. A bit more like. It's now a bit more like. That color. So it was a bit bright, and then I added the brown, and it dirties it up a little bit. Bug. So let's do some light. So You've got to have plenty of water in it. But what we're going to do is we're going to do some layers. We're going to layer this up. Oh, that's not good at all, darling. You can see how when it gets less water in it, they get smaller. 
So then when we add a bit more water, going to add more water. So by adding more water, you'll see we get bigger blobs and they get lighter. They go a bit smaller. Big ones and lighter. Big and lighter. But now let's up here where there's no water. Don't put your ink pads in the water. Oh, I touched the water. Let's get a bit more brown. Yeah. Let's do a bit more. Slightly different colour in tiny dots. Got to be careful not to be too forceful with it or you'll get liney splatters. And if you do that, like, well, if you do that, you get more lines. Let's cover that up. Okay. I think we're good with that. Let's just put a little bit more over on. Over on this pattern. Oh crap, I just spilled that. Um, yeah. Wash this paintbrush for me, please. Yeah. I just got green and white pieces of paper. You got every one of them, did you? Yep. I'm just cleaning up. I'm just here, could you just wash this out? Yes. Using a dry baby wipe. They are handy. Oh, Not yeah. in the kitchen. Right, yeah. So let's pop this over here dry. Don't walk around here, I've got it on the floor. Right, yeah. Let's deal with our photographs. So we're going to just tack our fake photos to their mats. You need more than just one little tack on each side with a big whopper photo. These are just me and little tiny ones. So because we've covered the centre joint of our page, when we cut our page apart, really you've either got to go to the back to cut it apart, like follow the line on the back, or use your lopper chopper or your trimmer to cut it at the 12 inch mark. I don't know what we've really done. I've used an hour. Oh, I suppose I showed you the Stamperia and the printed vellums and my cards. Your card was pretty popular. I fluffed around. What's Quentin call it? The fluffing stick. Oh, fluffing stick. If I can say that, because I've never done it. So. I think it's better to stick this on flat. That's just a lot of foam. 
Normally I'd stick my feature photo on. Fine. But this is big enough to be a feature without the phone. So that's one. So the March kits, okay. So March, five weeks. But something I've been thinking about for a really long time. In March, it's week nine to week 13, right? So week 12 is the second anniversary because we started on week 12 second anniversary of starting online classes so what I wanted to do was to pay homage to that first week so that very first week back in 2020 that we did the online classes and I no longer so week 11 was my last in-store class week and then week 12 was online um so what I wanted to do was to revisit that and do a scrap box week. So I am, well, I've been piling all my scraps up over here and in their bags. Um, I am going to get together all of my scraps from 2021 so far. Uh, let's do these flood as well. Let's be different. Um, and week 12, the two classes, the card and the page, are going to be made from scraps. And they could be quite mismatched. Because I don't know what I've got left of some things. Well, you've used a lot of kits. We have. By then, we'll have 11 kits worth of stuff to pick from. I'm hoping I've got some cardstock in it. I'm hoping there is a piece of cardstock in there somewhere that I could make something with. Pretty varied collection of kits too, I've got to tell you. Yep. You got and lots of plastic cut and left on weeks and weeks. Yeah. I've already made other stuff with it before. Done custom orders with that. With this week. With um, Lemon Craft Lemon Story. Oh, yeah. Let's grab all our other pieces. We might know what we're going to do with some of this. Creepy. I might use that. So this goes. You know what? I actually think it would be really nice to ink this. I might have to get a new keyboard to get more backspace to ink into it. Yep. Seems like a U issue. So I've got gathered tweaks. That's gathered tweaks. And I've got it so. So this is gathered twigs, right? But it's written upside down because I store mine upside down. I don't ink that anymore because it goes fine. You gotta remember we live in the subtropics. It gets hot here. So let's just go through and get some inking done. You could use blending brushes. You could use the Tim Holtz. Oh, I said the blue script. Sorry, guys. Ah, oh, it's over here already. Yep. And Kathy Luxford said, "Sounds like it could be fun and independently creative." Yep. So we're going to use our scrap boxes. So, well, I'm going to use my leftovers. It could be interesting. 
definitely going to be interesting. Because we learnt, if there's one thing we learnt in 2021, it was that five week months upset people. <laughs> yep. Five week months are, and there are a lot of, it's a lot of work on us. Like, yep, sometimes we've got the kits out by today, by this afternoon, but they don't have to be out. They don't have to be out any time. But they don't technically have to be out until uh, Monday. Yes. So they ain't going to be out till Monday because um, a bit of it's done, but I'm just I'm stuck on one thing. We will get there. Isn't it, it isn't always easy coming up with that many new titles and products every month. And there you go, Tris said everyone would have playing card in their stash. Yep. Actually, there was a week when you had half a piece of playing card. Yep, I'm going to stick them together. I've done that before. Go tell you, Dallas, not too many things you haven't done. No, let me get in my head. I'll get in my head then and think that I'm not doing anything different and creative. Sorry. Uh, there comes a point after 500 plus classes. I haven't counted lately. Has anyone been counting classes lately? It's a lot. It's a lot. That's just one of a lot of classes. It's a lot. I think it's been like six months since we counted. Classes. Yeah. There's a lot. Do you have a sharpener, Mum? Um, do don't you, you still have the watercolour sharpener? Or do you put it in the box I'd with the class the watercolours? Yeah, Probably in nice. with the, the class watercolours. So what week is week 12? Dates. Yeah, I need to look at my diary. Week 12 might actually be when Amelia is having an operation. So we'll do, so card making will be on Thursday. We come home, we drive home on Tuesday. It doesn't seem right, the time. I work all that out when I put the um, when I make the the most products. Each kit is a product. I haven't done like twelve yet. Because certain things have got to come before others. So before I make the labels I've got to make the album so I've got a link to the album to put on the label that goes on the kit which seems a bit backwards but certain things have got to happen before other things and the product needs to be made before that but the product needs to go back and be edited to put the link to the album and the product because you need the code for the product before you is week 12 yeah yeah so that week we'll um i think when we come back from brisbane we'll be closed from sunshine Coast, we'll be closed on a monday tuesday and then and then what we'll do is wednesday thursday friday i'll probably work from home in any case with my little cherub and then um we'll do thursday wednesday night class for scrap Thursday morning card making. Yeah. And you 
know what? I think that's the first or second week of football. We won't, we won't exactly be done. If we go to football the week before the operation, we'll be going to football with a mask on. I don't want to get them sick and have to cancel our operation. It's just having an eye operation. Seven. And hopefully the kids can get time off to come with us for the operation as well. Naomi John was 11 when she had her. Hers was an eye. Naomi's was her nose. And her airways. She had a nasal reconstruction. She was 11. Righty -o. so now we've done that part, let's do our next bit, and our next bit's going to be, I'm going to step on my bag with these big hoofers. Um, big bait. Next bit is going to be, so we've got adhesive on that one, on these, so let's put our adhesive on the back of this. A strip. The combi definitely needs to be on foam. So we'll make some decisions now to make it easier when we go to put it together. So I definitely think the combi needs to be on foam. Sorry, Leslie, I was a bit blase there with that cut and that tape, wasn't I? Uh, Marie said, I hope Amelia's eye operation goes well. Yeah, it mm. should do. It's just should do. surgery. Surgeons are really, really good. We've ended up with so. It's my wrist surgery. But the thing with her is we have to do it while she's still very young, otherwise... Mm, the longer it goes, the yeah, more, the harder does, it's going to be. Yeah, damage it does to her neck muscles because she keeps tilting her head all the time. And they say um, muscle memory will be easier once she's younger for her to adjust down. So. The cameras and combi are on foam. Compass is flat with these, so let's put our foam things. So these are foam and these are flat. Put all our little flags on flat. Flags are flat. This just makes it so easy to stick together. Our words, the jury's out. But I don't know about the words and the and the um, signs. Actually, do you wish, we've got several people we need to thank this week too for the kind messages they've sent back over. We've got lots of kind messages. Have we? It's your business week this week. People tell us how great a job you do. Oh, he doesn't tell me all of these. Oh, you answer some, I thought. Um, You'll know if you get the one from me because it'll be a really short response. I don't know if I, oh, I think I did answer someone. I don't know. No. I can't believe week one of school is over. I don't know if I do a good job. Week eight will be here before we know. Oh, look at that. And see the colour difference and where the bigger blobs are lighter because we had more water. See, and then where we added a little bit of brown oh, sorry and about the green. Fan making the lights dry to people. Actually, you want to turn the fan off? Give that a go. Oh. Doesn't go well for long. I was putting the aircon on. <laughs> Let's do the edge of this page. It's a bit of a. Oh, well, didn't we say it was much nicer this week? It was in the much week? nicer this week. It was much nicer, but it's just it's the weekend is shoring up to be a little bit tropical. The week before was just awful. The week before that was even worse. Yeah. Everyone loves, you know, it's like 7 to 9% community every day. Mm. Someone say the other day, oh, 
heard someone say that they, they have a relative that was, you know, upset that they were in like 30% humidity and it was like, nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah. We used to have the cruise ships coming into Gladstone and we used to take the store down to the market days down at the, down at East Shores near the wharf holy dooly some of those days the humidity and the people would be getting off the boat and they'd be just about dying at seven o'clock in the morning um and they'd just have to get back on the boat this is too hot let's stick this strip on first before i forget and see you can just see some little dots through here Brown fingers. I'm wearing white pants. Oh dear. Dumb idea. Now yeah, wearing beige pants, dear. Next time we wash them. So I have torn it specifically so that I know where the dodgy bit is. I'm trying to eyeball it. Yeah, it doesn't always work. Oh, look, and it was 12 inches because this bit had a barcode on it when I measured. Uh, so you didn't sorry. have to tear it? No, nah, didn't have to tear it. So where's our centre mark? Here. Right. Our centre is here. Let's stick a ruler on the centre. So that is our middle of our page. We don't want to stick our photo across the page. Oh, don't worry, Sandy. Have fun with Katie. Oh, cool. Thank you, Michelle. It is really tropical in here. <laughs> It'll take a minute to cut in. So let's come in like about, mm, let's go about an inch or just under an inch here. And around, almost just under an inch on the left and almost two inches on the top. Look at that, isn't that a beautiful photo? Is that our combi? So we get a bit of balancing going first. Let's put our combi down here near the bottom. And make sure that our mirror is in the page. Nothing worse with our mirror or bits of our page being off the page. So let's find our centre mark again. There. And I think, like, that's okay, but I think that looks a bit dodgy. But what we might do is we might line up the bottom of these photos with the bottom of this photo and then we'll line the top up as well. But you do have to have enough of your ruler on this photo here so that it doesn't get angled like that. Good night, Mary. You have a good night. Mary's bed is cool here. Turn around. Oh, you turn. So it's okay to turn your page around. Turn it upside down. I think I have fluffed around for so long and then this is going to be a simple page. Really, really. Really. You can add more embellishments if you want. Yeah, but still got to be about the photos. I know. 
really sorry, but the most important thing on a page is still the photos and the journaling and the story. But definitely the photos are why we do this. I was watching, looking at a lady's Facebook post the other day and she had a comment about how she stuck over a hundred flowers on something and her fingers were, uh, were full of burns from hot glue mm. gum. Yeah, Clinton made a boat, paddle pop stick boat with Noah once. Yeah, it didn't float. They used over a hundred glue sticks um, and Quentin damaged his fingerprints. Um, There's a lot of hot glue in that boat. It should have floated. It was sealed. Yeah. But there was just too much hot glue. Something about the, uh, the volumetric weight of a glue stick. And they line up with this. How pretty is that? Oh, I think it's nice. I think it's nice. Okay. Catch you later on, Deborah. Have a good night. So we're going to, oh, sorry, everyone. It's very late, isn't it? I think everyone's had a big week, though. Mm. So their compass and then our camera. And the phone's not on the photo there. There's a little bit of phone on the photo here. And then let's get all our bits and bobs and lay them all out now. So we're going to go on a getaway here. Right here. So get away, we're going to put foam at this end here. I still think um, Karen might be super interested in this one, dear. Her and Ray are about to uh, yeah, start their trip home across the Mullabor. Pen back across the Mullabor. Pen back. Take them a while to get back. I'm gone so long. So I'm going to put some foam behind here, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn back part of the foam. Because it's just going to stick to the photo. But I'm only doing part of it until the photo actually. Oh, I'll do the whole thing. I can pull that off. So yeah, I've ripped bits off from there. I mean, we've got a one inch teal tag and a three quarter inch beige. Beige. Okay. You have a great night, Lisa. Back to your time, but week one back at school. Yeah, we heard about your new job. Sounds awesomeness. Sounds really awesome, though. So exciting. Let's put some foam behind our trip word. Let's pop our camera in. And then our trip. I want to 
put that there. Just leave it there for the moment. Just leave it. thing is it takes a little bit to dry and we get the slidey slideys <laughs> SpongeBob is doing a job. He's holding something still yep. Later on we'll learn how to peel a sponge bulb off of Yep. So, hit. The. The hit needs a bit more tape. Hit the road. Look at the tape behind the T. Oh. Okay. Lesson learnt here. Let's do hit and road first, and then we'll put the in. Yeah. But before we do that, let's put our flaggy things in. Straight, maybe. So I've got a one inch beige, a one inch tealy turquoise, and a three quarter inch beige. I'm going to put a road down here. Yep, we've covered up part of it, but that's okay. I can handle that. And then put a the in here so that evenish. Stick a glare. We should be using um, 450 for this. Stick a dab in here. We're going to put some time behind our sign, just for a bit more journaling, and tuck our sign in there. Here we go. Oh, we've got some left. Does that look dodge? I'll do that. That's a, that's a name of John word, by the way, dodge. She's got lots of words to But I think I need to stick that there. I think I need it. Three flares, Quentin, just so you know. Yeah, break that down here. Just so you know, I love this flare. Because it's this paper. So when I start making the flares, so I make the one that goes with the pack, and it's now something that I make a scene, like a little scene from the images and some of the patterns. And I make a whole, you know, I try and tell a little story. I have a little funny joke. Uh, you don't all need to know the funny joke sometimes. And the kids go, oh, mum, really? Um, and, um, and then what I do is then I do the patterns. And then as I'm doing the pat going through doing the patterns, some of the other little scenes come, come off. Tranquility, because we're on the... Yeah, we're on the go slow with flares. We can't make flares. So the time it usually takes us to make 10 flares, we make one, and there's a 25 to 30% chance that it's actually going to be a dud. Um, we have a solution coming. Just, there is a solution coming, but it has taken a long time to get a solution. Right hand up the corner, there's a daisy set. 
Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm thinking you might be right, Desley. There's a flag sitting on the back. I'm thinking it needs something there and it needs a... Needs something. Could I put a fourth flare on a page? Or is that just a bit much? Or do I just put that? Need something. I was going to say put a flower on, but we don't have any flowers. I'm not sticking a flower on this page. Oh, I know. I know. Because I did that. I'm just going to try this. Oh, that's crooked. Well, I don't want it to line up with that one. Yeah, I am that strange friend that doesn't like things to be too contrived looking. Got an idea. This is a universal symbol. For where's my scissors? I've got an idea, peoples. Sorry, Leslie, I cut a bit close to my fingers there. And I cut the white border off. Uh, you, it's there for you. Um, don't feel you have to cut it off. I, yeah. It's probably there really for me for when I completely lose my sight. Yeah, not too far down the track. I was actually, Deborah's still on there, but I was actually, um, when she put up the sneak peek of one of her pages the other day, the picture of this one, like that fussy cutting is so neat. Yeah. It's like, oh, wow. I spend a lot of time on fussy cutting. It's probably a thing I do the neatest. And then up here. Remember the cardboard ports? We used to have a school bags. One with brown. I think we still, still got it on the shed. Beer. It's still kicking around. It had We've pencils got, in my it. My mother gave us one back with full of kids' toys. Remember when yep. animal to those farm animal toys that we used to have? Yep. It's in the shed of the cupboard. My grade one bag was one of those with leather straps that went. And that you, yeah, the cardboard one that you use as a backpack. Yeah. Let's ink these. And not forget to ink them. I think you call us retro. Yeah. We're definitely retro. Oh, when the kids come out and you know they go, Oh, have you heard this new song? It's like, That's not new. Mm -hmm. That was around the 80s. Yeah. Well, I do like it when you know it's a couple of um, new um, covers of Fleetwood Mac. Quite pleased with that. Marie, you're fussy cutting off. Totally believe that you are doing fussy cutting, Marie. 100% believe that. Yeah. Marie, Marie's always fussy cutting. As soon as we were opening the stamp area box the other day, Marie, and I saw the stencil of the kitten, we both went, Marie would love that. Marie would love that. That's a bit Marie. Amelia Ann hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> You wait till she goes to work tomorrow. Do you reckon I'm going to come home with one of those cat stencils? Amelia has already told everybody in the family. She has. She goes, I, I have to inform you all, I'm going to be the crazy cat lady. <laughs> she is the crazy cat lady. She is the crazy cat lady. She's going to appreciate it when Missy got on her pillow twice through the night last night. So 
the kitten. I love that. That's just... That's done. Yeah. Oh, I probably should have swapped. Can you stop it? Don't try and tear something off. Yeah. Never, never goes well. Yeah, I know. That's why we use that glue. Oh. Yep. That's why we used that glue, dear. There we go. What do you think? It's pretty... Um, I like plastic. it. I like it. Let's hold right. it up. So I just want to run through. We have one by pattern paper five, one by pattern paper two, one by pattern paper one. Two pieces of Isbury Kaiser card, one getaway word pack, three custom plates. Yeah. That ain't much at all, really. And how so much is that? Beautiful page. Um, that comes to. Show you this so you can take screenshots. $14.55. $14.55 for a double page kit. Yep. Yeehaw. You get to watch me fluff and father and. Make it. There's no printed instructions. There's no pictures with it, but you do get. Um, so Quentin puts the link up to. So the QR code that you get now on your kits is actually the YouTube one, and it actually has the link. So the YouTube um, video in the description has a link to the class directory, back to the Facebook video, the original YouTube video. Um, the kit, um, the collection used, um, yeah. I've missed just a few comments over to the side there, but I'm sure you can read them all. Oh, okay. Um, said she's still got her port just, from grade one and she's 72. Oh. Just wait, I'm just going to remove a comment from YouTube. I've done Sorry, already. we had a scammer. No, we had another scammer. Oh, God, I did one before. Deary me, we attract them. Um, nothing wrong with being the crazy cat lady. I love it. Um, so important from grade one, I'm 72. Yeah. One has a plastic handle. No, Amelia Ann's going to be the lovely That's the link woman. to the page, guys. There's no picture on it, obviously, because we haven't taken a photo yet. Yep. So screen. Quentin's put the link up to the kit. Uh, so 9.30 tomorrow morning, Naomi John is um, doing her mixed media class, and that's the Creative Family Group. Quentin might put a link to the Creative Family Group up. Um, yep. The links in that are in the Facebook feed if you're watching on YouTube. Um, but if you find Scrapbook Fantasies on Facebook, you go to groups, click on the groups tab, and and you just slide across to find groups on a phone um, or an iPad, and it's the creative family group. We own a lot of groups because we have virtual retreats, in-store retreats, all sorts of things. So um, the creative family group, 9.30 tomorrow morning, Queensland time, Naomi John's doing her weekly mixed media class, which is moving to Saturday mornings. Um, and she is colouring gesso, and she's colouring it with alcohol inks. Ooh, so, to have the windows open. yeah, so that's going to be really fun and interesting. Um, so, yes, she couldn't even go and visit her sick brother. No. So <laughs> that's hard. That's hard for the kids because they've got each other in Brisbane, but she, she was just a little bit glad that they weren't still living together. Yeah, I think he was really glad they weren't living together because she can get, she would get really, really sick. Um, yes, we don't want her getting sick because she's got no immunity. Even though she's fully vaxxed, she's got very little immunity. So there we go. That is our double page. I could probably swap these two. No. Yeah, I worked real hard tonight, Marlon. <laughs> You're not swapping more things on the A. Oh, I was gonna, but no, I ripped the page. Not a good one. Yeah, no, it's staying. I think these two need to be swapped. And you know, in the photos, they may be swapped. <laughs> We've done that later. We'll swap that a flare button because we found one that was about a bit. 
very yeah. much. Sorry. The color balance isn't working. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. To it was going to eat at me. Oh, no. There we go. See, that's why I used this glue tonight. <laughs> Probably have to re glue them later. So, there we go. Thank you very much for tolerating me and hanging around till the end if you did. Um, thank you for watching if you're watching at a later stage. Thank you for watching if you're watching the edited version with pictures of the page at the front and pictures of the page at the back. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook. Thank you very, very much for coming and visiting with us. Um, we love doing classes. We love that we can do free classes. Um, we do still need to sell stuff because the kids actually expect to eat, unfortunately. But they're not demanding kids, I have to admit. They're great kids. Um, although Amelia was a little bit of a diva when we were buying dancewear at Big W because... It's no dancewear shop for the Red Shorts. It's Big W, Big Dora W, on special at Big W. It's the extent of the Red Shorts shopping these days for dancing. Um, we never have done that with Naomi John when she danced. Um, there was no dance store in there? Oh, there's one dance store. No, there were two dance stores in Gladstone when Naomi John danced. Trust me, we knew them both. Um, but, yes, she was a little bit of a diva that did not wear, want to wear a leotard, but she was picking a leotard with a skirt attached. I'm like, you're not wearing that one. You're wearing this one. So, not my first rodeo, remember? Done dancing before. Um, so, yes. Yes. We do love doing this and it's it's great. And I hope you like this. I hope you like Getaway. It's perfect for travel. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Name you'll see us at 7.30 in the morning? 9.30. No, 9.30. 9.30. 9.30. She will not see you at 7.30 Queensland time. She will see you at 9.30 Queensland time. It'll be the time I'll put the post up. Yeah, he'll put a post up. He's just written himself a note to do a post at 7 30 in the morning. So take care, stay safe, love you all, and we will see you for Naomi John's class tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, exciting stuff. And we'll be manufacturing our little butts off. Yes. <laughs> Getting stuff ready for kids. So take care, stay safe, love you all. Bye.